Good morning, everybody. Um, I heard about this bizarre story on the TV, so I've had to have a look at it myself, and this really is bizarre. Um, if it's true, it turns out that Doncaster is part of Scotland. Wow. Doncaster City, a newly named, a newly formed football team that only started um, its existence this year. Doncaster City make bizarre Scottish Cup bid as English side use ancient treaty to fuel Celtic and Rangers' dream. The newly formed club are backed by retail giants Sports Direct and currently play in the 13th tier of English football. Ambitious English side Doncaster City have used an ancient claim over their national status to apply for next season's Scottish Cup. The bizarre bid by the Yorkshire Club to gain entry into the competition is based on a 12th century treaty which states the town is legally part of Scotland. City have already made an application to the SFA to be considered for the 2022-2023 season and the new the newly formed team aim to use Berwick Rangers and um, east of Scotland side Tweedmouth Rangers uh, as examples of geographically based clubs south of the border being eligible for the national competition um, let's have a look down because it's uh, it's interesting the claim the bit about the claim that um, Doncaster is part of Scotland is quite interesting. Um, Doncaster City spokesman Luke Van Dorm confirmed his club have made a presentation to the SFA with their bid and also revealed a former mayor of his town was, was so determined for his town to be recognised as Scottish that he demanded a vote in the independence referendum. So this um this feeling in Doncaster that it's actually part of Scotland isn't a new thing because the former mayor demanded a vote in the Scottish independence referendum. He said, we have made an application to the Scottish FA for consideration to be entered into the 2022-2023 Scottish Cup after finding out our club is in fact based in Scotland. We are Doncaster's newest addition to the footballing world, and like any club, we love fairy tales, uh, fairy tales domestic cups can provide. Doncaster became Scottish soil when King Stephen of England passed it on to King David I of Scotland in the First Treaty of Durham. And it has not been claimed back. In fact, as recently as 2014, during the Scottish independence referendum, Doncaster Mayor Peter Davis stated that he should have a vote due to Doncaster being a Scottish town. Doncaster City is on the rise and we dream of a home tie against Rangers or Celtic. And why shouldn't we be welcoming them down? The likes of Cardiff and Swansea compete in the EFL, despite their geographical location. Yeah, that's very true, but... Um, wow, this is bizarre. Um, according to this... Um, it, according to this, Doncaster became Scottish soil when King Stephen of England passed it on to King David I of Scotland in the Treaty of Durham which was in the 12th century, and England has not claimed it back. So what they're saying is that Doncaster is legally part of Scotland. Well, 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 the mind boggles. What a bizarre story, but... Um, is the, <laughs> this is crazy, this. Um, are they going to be stamping the feet, calling for a vote of um, a referendum vote in Doncaster, I wonder? Is there much feeling in Doncaster? Do the people of Doncaster want to be known as Scottish or English? Um, according to this, 
It's still legally part of Scotland. Who would have thought it? Scotland. Scotland's border comes as far down as South Yorkshire. Wow, this is this is um very interesting. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.